How's it going YouTube? It's me the cool loser and today's video is going to be on the top 10 games this week. Now I do have HD games that I'll be bringing next time but I have these games right now. They're 15 actually not 10 because I've had them so long on my phone and I need to get them off. And a lot of people have low end phones and they can't support all the HD or bigger capacity games. And also another thing I forgot to charge my camera so I'm using the edge so let's start the first game off and it is called toilet time. Go through the sequence of different things. They see you laying on the toilet, your bathroom break, and you have to oh, send the girls over. And then, oh yeah, you have to do the puzzle before the timer runs out. Ah! And then you have to hold the toilet paper from, oh no! Oh, okay. which one? Oh, you gotta pull. Oh, that was a girl! Jeez, I'm doing horrible! You won't know what to do until you're literally getting into it and you figure it out, like squish the bugs. There we go, good job. As you have to do the cough where you... Ugh, I did extremely bad. Alright, next up we have Boom Dots. I like these type of games where you have to challenge yourself to get to the better, higher score. It's gonna go, you know, obviously in different speeds. If you hit a dead center, you get better points. And you just gotta keep climbing up. My highest points is 29, I think. Um, if you take too long, you're gonna get to the bottom of the spikes. You see that it's crawling down. Ooh, almost missed. Let's see if I can get a high score here. You might think it's easy, but it's actually pretty hard. Uh oh. Oh no, that was my high score. I would have been. Here next, we have Snake Rewind. Do you guys remember the old school snake when you had them on Nokia? As you see, it's more digital. It's a slow paced game. The snake is getting bigger and it makes a huge difference because you know that you have to worry about not trying to hit. You can actually change the controls. You got your D pad in case that's better for you rather than the swiping. Here next we have freaking color text. It gives you less than two seconds to figure out the color and not the words. Green, green, blue, blue, green, blue. Uh, green, 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 red, green, green, red, green, blue, red. Ah! I've gotten to 82. Let's see, I wanna get pretty far. Green, blue, green, red. You gotta be silent. If I say it out loud, it's actually worse for me. And really, really hard to try not to do what it's trying to say. Ah! It's a tough game. I'm gonna go one more time. Wow. Next up we have Kung Fury. It's a quick base game where you just tap on the right and tap on the left to get to your guys. Don't miss, cause if you miss, you ruin your combo. Not sure if it's blurry or not. And there's guys who take two hits. And then you're gonna see some girls come out. Be, move. The girls move to the left to the right, so they require you to do some hits left and right. Ah, oh, God, come on. It's a tough game. That's why these games are called impossible. Here next we have Impossi Pit. Okay, so we hold both sides of the wall, and it'll slowly slide down, and you want to just move away from the obstacles that are on the wall, and it starts getting faster, and there are some kind of weird stuff that you'll see. It's hard for me to see, because I'm looking through my phone. My furthest is 48, as you can see there. Here next we have Log Rolling Lumberjack. When you first play this game, you're gonna be a little confused on how to play it. But I promise you, this game is ridiculously hard. And you can tap one direction, but if you tap faster on the other one... Alright, so we're gonna go into inventory, we're gonna select this item. You can imagine how long it would take to get to 18 seconds. I'm gonna have to figure how to do it right because it's just taking too long for me uh, to work without having to fall down. I'm very proud of 18 seconds and I just dare you to get better than what I did. <sighs> Here next we have Ruby Run. Tap the shoot on the left and you got your jump in. Again, one of those runner, but you know, in posse type of games. Collect your little jewels there and shoot this guy out of your way because if you don't, that laser behind you is like aliens trying to zap you and you will get hit. Oh no 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 the further you get, you're gonna end up seeing different kind of monsters pull up. Oh, I'm gonna beat my high score. Oh! Come on, I can beat it, I can beat it! Oh, I was 
awesome. Here next we have RGB. You go through stages here, you have to color them into the right direction. As you see, red won't be on red. You gotta switch them, make them on blue. You gotta switch these guys, switch this guy again, and you go to different stages and fix them. So don't make them hit on the wrong colors. You just gotta swap them into the right direction. That was a little tough, you want, oh! Whoa, almost forgot to switch them. Switch, oh no, 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 no! You do end up getting different kind of like beats to go along with it, but that slow pace is still hardcore. Next up we have zigzag boom. Tapping left and right, so that's all it's gonna go and watch this go now. Swipe, 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 ah. It seems so easy, like I could do that. Go ahead. Prove me wrong, go put yourself in the scores and show me your gameplay. This is a tough game. And all these are like impossible games, which are what I wanted to bring. Okay, it's, I'm getting the hang of it a lot better now. And I want to see if I can beat my score since I'm pretty far. Oh no, 69! You can also go into your gameplay, it records what you're doing so you can share. Here next we have tree jump. As soon as we press play, you can drag and drag up and go. So you can see you can go up and down the pole. <laughs> Watch out, the spider up there, and it's gonna come try to get you. They're not like secretly there, you'll, you'll have to just pay attention. Okay, then this one starts sliding down, so you have to, whoop, and just get your distance. That's all it really is about. Oh, that was a close one. This one's falling with the Black Widow, whatever the beetle thing is. Ooh! Here next we have Coco Man. In this game, all you have to do is tap exactly when you want him to move to the left. And you have to collect a coconut and bring it to your house. Oh. <laughs> it's a very tough game. As you can see, it's lava coming down and you collect it. That's one. These are the type of games that will frustrate you trying to get your higher score. And let's get there. And let's bring it back. Ooh, ooh. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh. That would have hit me. That would have hit me. There's two. I'm gonna get to four. Yes! Four, 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 four. No! Next up, we have Orbit O. So you see there's a timer going off. You have to direct it into the little ping. You have to hit them. Make sure you hit it on just perfectly and you want to get as far as you can. I'm at four ready. There's five and six and then we go to seven. You can skip them but as long as you're hitting oh like that perfectly and I'm at nine and you don't you can't spin around forever so again it's one of those impossible games where you just want to shoot yourself all the way to the top and then shoot yourself for real. And 14th we have Rolled. So here we have a game where we just don't make the walk hard for him and watch this, oops, or that will happen. You just have to make it perfect. So you keep it up for that long seconds and then you advance. And it is hard, when you first play it, if you played it yourself, you would totally not understand it and you'd probably hate it immediately. I mean, it's not like a game where you're like gonna brag about, oh, ah, that was pretty far. But it's just one of those games where you just wanna beat the scores. Get the furthest you can. And last but not least, number 15th, we have Touch Racing, which this one is not an impossible type game. Just for my viewers who are saying these games are too small, this is a happy medium. So in this game, I, I'm last place, but there's a little control here where we grab the steering wheel. You can change them and you can see I'm on a jet boat and it launches forward. It's top down the whole entire game. As you can see, there's different maps and different vehicles that you can play with on water, on land. Who knows what else you'll see. These are very easy laps right now. Wait until you get a little bit further. And I got first, like a boss. These are my top 10 picks of impossible games here for this week. I do have other ones here, that which are HD. As you notice, I've been trying to get my top 10 best apps and games every Wednesdays. I couldn't post it yesterday, but you know, that's gonna be my target system. One Wednesday is gonna be an app. The next Wednesday is gonna be a game. As you notice, I'm on my G4, which means I'm gonna be alternating as well on off of my S6, and who knows what other ones I might be able to play. Oh yeah, just before I actually leave, I just made a review on Video Baker. Remember that channel I was telling you guys about that I'm starting? This is a camping thingy here, which you guys are really, really gonna find 
kind of cool just that it does that storage and it's waterproof. But I'll put the link in the description or a little pop up here that you click on the little eye that you can go right into the video or whatever. So definitely go check that out. Video Baker is where I'm gonna post different kind of product reviews. It doesn't have to be technology. Who knows what you'll find on there. No Android fanboyism there. But that's it. Thank you for joining and uh, I will see you guys next time. Later.